वेलकम टू द क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज गाइडेंस एंड काउंसिलिंग फर्स्ट लेट अस टेक अप गाइडेंस एज टीचर्स पेरेंट्स एंड एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन वी ऑल यू नो एक्सपेक्ट आवर चिल्ड्रन टू achieve certain level of achievements to reach certain level of achievements and learn and pass out and progress to their classes have a good personality development an all round personality development choose a proper vocation that can provide them livelihood and become self consistent and self reliant citizens so we can say this is the aim of the education but we also see as teachers that not all students achieve success in life not all students develop a well balanced personality not all have proper desired social development we see that some students fail in their classes fail to progress in the classes and some suffer from emotional problems some suffer developmental problems some you know suffer social proper social development problems so as a teacher you know we see a need of helping students under such situations this help provided by the teacher or a responsible member of the society or an educational institution to the children with problems or the children who need help to solve their problems to understand and solve their problems this help is called guidance we know that from the beginning itself you know the society the elders members of the society parents and teachers they always you know provided some sort of some or the other sort of help to the students in need of help even before the concept of guidance and counseling came into being this concept of guidance and counseling it developed in the second part of the second half of the 20th century and initially the guidance was provided to an individual only in the matters of vocational uh, uh, selecting a vocation proper vocation or vocational training so later on the concept of guidance and counseling and evolved it evolved and it developed a wide uh, meaning and scope so as a teacher and parents we feel that the students who are in need of help in their development need guidance so in order to provide guidance proper guidance and counseling to those children a teacher and parent should understand the concept of guidance even before understanding the concept of guidance you should know 
what guidance is not about what guidance should not do what guidance does not provide so this is very important to know so if you want to be a proper guide to the child first you should know what guidance is not about so guidance is not about giving direction to the child or the person in need person having a problem or it is not making decisions for someone the guide should not himself show their direction or a guide a, maybe a teacher or parent should not decide himself for the child in need of guidance and guidance is not about solving the problems of the another person here the guide should not he himself should not so- solve the problems of the person who seeks guidance and the fourth point is guidance is not giving suggestions or advice then what guidance is so guidance is not giving direction if it is not about making decisions for someone if it is not about solving the problems of others as a guide and if it is not giving suggestion or advice then what is guidance so let us see the meaning and definition of the guidance say guidance is a personal service provided to an individual and it aims at helping him or her to solve his or her problems so guidance is a personal help given to an individual it aims to help the individual to solve his or her own problems here the guide helps them to understand their problem and solve their problem on their own the guide does not solves the problem the guide does not shows the direction the guide does not decides what the pupil or the person in need of help what he should do so guidance is only about helping an individual to help himself or herself for what to understand his problem to understand the reasons for his problem to devise solutions for his problem to implement those solutions in his life to overcome whatever the problem he is having in his life this is guidance guidance can be also defined as a specialized service provided to individual in need of help a specialized service provided to individuals in need of help according to jones a famous psychologist guidance involves personal help given by someone maybe a teacher maybe a psychologist maybe a parent so guidance involves personal help given by someone that someone may be teacher parent or a psychologist it is designed to assist a person to decide where he wants to go what he wants to do or how he can best accomplish his purposes it assists him to solve problems for the individual but helps him to solve them so again the definition means that guidance is a help given by a particular person to a person in need it is given in such a way that the person in need or person having a problem he should understand what is his problem what he wants to do 
what he wants to achieve to solve his problem so in this direction the guide helps the pupil or the student or a person to understand his problems you know situations find a solution implement those solutions to overcome those problems so this is about the definition of guidance now let us see the scope of guidance guidance helps the individual to understand himself and the nature of his problem and bring about change in self as well as his environment to facilitate development so as i told earlier the scope of guidance is to make the individual to understand himself to understand his problem and the nature of his problem bring about change in himself and his environment to overcome that problem so that he can have a proper development and the second point guidance stresses that an individual's own initiative and action can bring about change in his attitude his perception and his understanding and change in the environment that means guidance says or stresses that the individual who is in problem he himself can change his attitudes perception understanding and his change his environment so that he can have proper development he himself has to change he himself has to change his attitudes his perceptions he himself has to change his environment so that whatever problems he may be facing whatever issues he may be facing in his life in his profession in his social relations or in his education can be overcome in recent years emphasis of guidance has shifted from occasional guidance to developmental guidance as i told earlier when guidance was started it was considered and it was used only in place of occasional guidance only as used as an occasional guidance but now the scope of guidance has increased now guidance is provided in each and every aspect of life so that is why it is called developmental guidance now so such a guidance is a process of helping growth so it should make the student capable of choosing and achieving his own goals guidance should make or help student in overall growth so its aim is to help the student to choose goals and achieve goals guidance should enable him or her to set goals in life work persistently towards their achievement and take full responsibility responsibility for his action so guidance only helps the student to select or aim or have certain goals and you know work to achieve those goals the aim of guidance ultimately is to help the child to develop to be a self directed person so so the guidance is helping an individual to help himself or herself so as i told earlier guidance guidance is not about the guide helping or solving the problem of the student but it is making them to understand their problems identify their problems and solve them on their own 
so guidance suggests that growth and development of every individual can be guided into meaningful and purposeful patterns and channels so guidance says that every individual's efforts in the life can be made meaningful and purposeful purposeful if we provide proper guidance thus guidance services provide help in the development of individual in every area of the life since the education is a process of preparation for life guidance services uh, as a part of educational process are designed to support wholesome development of the individual child and prepare him for the life that means the aim of the education is to prepare for the prepare the child for the life and guidance supports that aim of the education thank you thanks for watching in the next class we'll discuss the concepts of counseling and steps involved in the counseling process